Hello and welcome to One Club Champ. My name is Gary and this is Buck CC, my youth team from the 90s created in Football Manager. We are taking them from level 10 to the Prem and we find ourselves in League One. We've just got promoted and now it's our first two games of the season, away to Chesterfield and at home to the recently relegated Crystal Palace. We open our new stadium in this episode, a 5,000 all-seater stadium in Owsby, Buckinghamshire. And let's see how we do. Come on, the Bucks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Here we are. We are Buck CC. And let's have a look at where we left off. We ended up finishing as champions of the Skybet League 2 in the year 27-28. Played 46 games, 29 games won, 11 games drawn, 6 lost, a whopping 115 goals and 56 allowed in with a goal difference of 59, finishing with 98 points. So, promotion from League 2 and then going up now into League 1. Look at the big boys we have in here. And when I say big boys, I mean, there's some there's some big clubs here. Shuffle Wednesday, Crystal Palace. Uh, let's have a little look at the season preview, see where we are predicted to finish. 300 to one to, uh, to get promoted. We have been predicted to finish fourth in the table, rock bottom by quite a mile. Um, let's have a look at, well, we've got Reading, who was a senior affiliate of Bucksy C. Now no longer because we're in the same division. Reading, Wigan, Crystal Palace. No players in the Media Dream 11. And it looks like the best player in, in the league is a guy called Jonas Wind, who's worth £24.5 million for Crystal Palace. And he's being paid £26.5,000 a week. We have no players in here. But we have signed some, we've managed to sign a couple. So let's delve into the transfers and, uh, and have a look at the transfer history. Managed to sold, uh, sell 500,000 pounds worth of player, Slavi Spazov. We thank you so much, Slavi, for all that you did. He is the record league goal scorer on 61, but we sold him to York City. Slavi, thank you for your service for Bucks EC. Terrell Whitaker. Quite a good player, to be honest. And we sold him for 350K. Now, at the end of the year, you know when you make those promises when you sign someone and they ask, got to improve the coaching staff or um, wants to be played in a preferred position of the false nine, da 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 da. Anyway, we didn't do any of those things. And so he got really upset and so upset that he wanted to leave. So we sold him and made a bit of a profit. Rayan Clark, the wand, the wand. All right, he has a wand of a left foot. We've sold him. He's gone to also York. So both Slavi and Rayan have gone together. They've picked up some extra players from us. And the rest of them are all lined out. Young guys going off to ply their trade in the lower leagues. So let's have a look at the players that we brought in. First up, new goalkeeper, Gabriel Baldi, who is a 23-year-old Italian and he has comes from Roma's reserve team. Basically hasn't barely played over the course of his career, but gets a chance. How did we scout him? Well, we went into scouting, turned on the players, did a big search, um, and just filtered through players that were running out of contract. Um, that's kind of how we've done it. So that's how I've picked up free transfers just by filtering out those that are unattached or with their contracts running down and then just kind of taking a bit of a gamble. So Gabriel Baldi came in, he's being paid 5K a week. He's a three and a half star current ability, three and a half or four star potential ability. Quite, in a, uh, quite a, an, an improvement on the last guy. Here is Edgar Botello. Again, we picked him up from uh, Sporting out in Portugal, and he is now in Buck CC. Made a few appearances for their reserve or their B team. So here is Edgar. I mean, apart from the fact that he's only 5'5", he's fairly professional, left-footed, has got some technique, some good physicals, and can play also at left-back or left-wing. Capped as an under-20 for the Portuguese national team. Uh, James Gibbons. 
you know, he's had a career at Port Vale. Ten, he's a Port Vale legend, so he's now come over to Buck CC for a couple of seasons. Things I like about him in our team is his crossing is 14, which is excellent. He's got some fairly decent uh, determination, good tackling, good work rate, and he will slip in at the right back position for us. He's worth 300k and he's at 30 years old. Here is the very beautiful Adrian Panaite. I think that's how we'll pronounce it, Panaite. Again, we did the same thing. We looked at players that were running down their contracts and were on a free. However, with this particular guy, he was never gonna get a work permit, but I signed him anyway. And I signed him anyway, because I figured if we pay him, we got this, you know, paying him 2,000 pounds a week, basically, brought him in on a free transfer, We've loaned him out to Oviedo and we are receiving 88000 for that loan fee and they're covering his wages. Now, hopefully he'll play and we'll be able to reapply for a work permit. And if we do, we get a Romanian under 21 year old winger with some great dribbling, great technique, great flair, some good physicals. For League One, he would light it up. Um, but, you know, and if it doesn't work out, if we don't get the work permit again, then we always can sell him on for a profit He's worth 400K, we end up selling him. We can make some money off of that guy. And then, um, kind, of an, uh, kind of a boring sign-in, here's Callum Flatman, who's come in from Hearts, been plying his trade north of the border, and uh, comes in to play centre-back. Not much really to talk about. So here is our tactic. This is our starting lineup for the first game of the season. Tolaj and Ennis will finish um, or we'll, sorry, we'll start together. They've had a partnership now for a couple of years. Here's Tolage. Finished up with 29 league goals, 33 in all competitions. Was the, uh, wasn't the fans player of the year though. Niall Ennis was, who finished on 20 league goals, 27 in all appearances. And he's become a bit of an icon of the club. Owen Scully is our wide target man at 6'7". He finished his season on an impressive 20 goals from that position, which is excellent after coming over from Barcelona. Here's our little regen wonder kid, Ryan Charlton, who had a bit of, bit of a good breakthrough season. 10 goals in 38 appearances. So Ryan Charlton will play as the inside forward. Munoz and Milligan, Botello, Gibbons, Edwards and Flatman and Baldy. And there, here we go. That's it. We've got a bench of Pozzo, Hallard, Mohamed is a, a young kid we brought in from Tottenham on a free transfer at the end of the year. Not much to speak about. He's only got one and a half star current ability. Got some great potential ability though. So he's young, might, might be able to get him some game time this year. Barney Sodi, and then another little regen kid who may or may not have a future at the club. He's 17, he ain't that great. But again, we'll see if we can get him some game time and let's see if he improves. So here we go, we are in League One, playing our away game against Chesterfield. And let's see how the Bucks do going up through the leagues. Now, since the last episode, we have moved into our new stadium, which is boringly known as the Bucks CC Stadium. 5,000 all-seater. Perfect pitch right now. And uh, we will be playing oh, the grand unveiling. Oh, look at this view. We've gone with the vertical scrolling here. Not sure why it's changed, but that's a great cross. Whoa. <laughs> Welcome to League One. I've got a lot of time for that goal. Full back, long cross, sweeping over towards the back post. And it's Scully who heads it back across goal in towards Niall Ennis with the simple finish. And we are 1-0 up after three minutes. Let's pause this because not really happy with that. We'll go with a TV setting. And here we go. Let's see what we got here. one nil up. Well, I wasn't expecting that on the first game of the season against Chesterfield. Especially because we haven't really brought in players. Oh dear, look at this. Hold up, hold up. We are all 
a mess with this with this setup. There we go. Feel like feel like that should have been reset up before we started filming. But either way, there we go. Munoz into Milligan. Getting down that right hand flank. Milligan into Gibbons. Great cross, dangerous cross. There's that 14 crossing stat ability. Botello into Charlton. Munoz on the edge and Tolage. He's off, he's off, he's off. Oh, that would have been dreamland for Buck CC. Here we go. Defending the free kick. Headed clear. Ryan Charlton. And now we're breaking three on three, going towards goal. Go on, Ryan. Plays it wide to Tolage. Good save by Norman down at the near post. Corner ball. Who have we got taking? The new fullback, Gibbons. Clips it in. Headed clear. Ryan Cholton picks up the loose ball at the back. Woof. That is a dangerous, dangerous free kick. And it looks like Gibbons is coming showing the red card on his debut. Okay, well, I think what we need to do is probably take off take off NS and we need to bring on let's bring on Barney Sodi. We're gonna play Barney Sodi down here at right back position. Well nothing you really want on your debut there. Unfortunately, sent off, second yellow card, looked like a really dangerous tackle, two-footed on the player on the edge of the box, and the referee sent him off. And I'm funny debut. Now, I don't, I don't really think that we should go very defensive. I think we're gonna still stay positive, even though we've, we've gone down to 10 men. We seem to be playing okay, even though uh, we're a man down. Corner to Chesterfield. Richards crosses it in. Head of the way by Flatman. Tolage has got to hold the ball up. There you go. Milligan out to Scully. And Sodi is now breaking down that right flank. Back into Milligan. Drive forward, Milligan. That's a bad pass. Yes, Liam Edwards clearing the ball. Munoz into Tolaji. He doesn't have his normal strike partner up there. Ball out to Botello on his debut as well. Crosses out to Ryan Cholton. Our little, he isn't a wonder kid, but our little regen wonder kid, Ryan Cholton, clips the top of the bar. Okay, so now we're getting into the interesting part of the game. 20 minutes to go. And Chesterfield aren't really challenging us too much. We might need to make a save because, uh, a sub because our two wide players are getting a little tired. So here we go. Let's make a... We've got eight minutes to go. Ryan Cholton looks like his day is done. So let's bring on... Yeah, let's put Edgar Botello up there. Bring on Jeremy Keizu to play at left back. And what we'll do is I think with the tactics here let's go here and let's just bring in Botello in here and make him a defensive winger even though he doesn't have the setup for it we'll leave Scully as the wide target man kind of an asymmetrical setup confirm the changes here we go can we squeeze out free kick to Chesterfield five minutes to go good save by Baldy on his debut even though he's offside. Well, we didn't know that, did he? Good save. Let's quickly put it on defensive for the last two minutes. Can we eke a goal? Yes. Opening day, win of the season. 1-0 away from home. That was really special, lads. Well done. Well done. Well, we have started with a beautiful win. 1-0 away from home. And now it's time for us to move to our second game of the save. Well, here we are. We're back for our second game of the season. 
So we're in the year 2028, 2029, just to give you an update. And since the first game against Chesterfield with our 1-0 away win, we have signed in the next week, we signed a kid called Tyler Onyango, who comes from Everton. Here he is. He spent 10 years at Everton without really playing a game. Maybe he got a few like sub appearances in a cup. There you go. But outside of that, no league appearances. So he comes in on 3K a week, worth £375, and he'll sit in our centre midfield. Quite like him. Six, uh, six foot three, 13 and a half stone, good physicals, jumping reach um, is up there with 18, good stamina, good fitness, his vision is 16, work rate is 12. I like, I like a lot about this the kid, you know, he's a four star potential and maybe if we would have got him a few years ago and played him, um, he would have been able to really kind of reach a, this, this five star potential for us. But he's now at Buck CC and uh, welcome to the club, Tyler. All right, we're about to play Crystal Palace in League One after they got relegated from the championship. And a new era will dawn on Buck CC, a moment in our club's history. We will be moving into our brand new stadium and play the first competitive fixture. As I said, 5,000 capacity playing against Palace. We've sold 4,800 tickets and our managing director, Mr. Stuart Jeffrey, um, hoped that it is a spectacle for everybody in attendance. We've also, because of the recent addition of Tyler, expected to attract an additional fans to the stand. Palace will bring down their crew and enjoy a large travelling support. 3,500 away fans expected to be at the 5,000 seater stadium, which means they will have more fans than Buck CC for this game. So here we go, we're set for this uh, enticing matchup between Crystal Palace and all the wealth that they have of being a uh, top, top team. And, uh, well, really, Bucksy see the minnows in the league. Let's go and have a look at some of the stats in terms of team details. I always like to compare things like net transfer spend. We have uh, obviously not spent any money on any players so far, other than the £180 we spent to loan Ryan Clark. Reading obviously have sold a ton of players since their relegation, and so have Crystal Palace. Let's go check out some of the transfers that they have sold. There you go, 4.8 million, selling some big, big players out of their club, and probably even before the end of last year too. There you go, selling a few more out of the club. In terms of players that they've brought in, let's have a look. Just all three transfers. Let's see some other bits and pieces um, in terms of salary and compare. Look at that. Crystal Palace paying 11.76 11 uh, £11 million pounds a year in salary compared to our 1.84, so nearly 10 million more a year on salary. Well, we're going to see if the uh, if we can take on Palace and, and beat them. Niall Ennis is set to become Buck CC's leading goal scorer. So, so far, Niall Ennis has 58 league goals and Slavi Spazov has 61. So, Niall Ennis could be on for the league record. Niall Ennis has come up from the Vanarama North, then through the National, then League Two, and has already scored in League One. Here we go then. Crystal Palace at home to open up the Buck CC Stadium. It's a big day in the club's history. Can't wait for this one. We might get we might get tonked here by Palace, but we're gonna go for it. Uh, get rid of all of this. Let's get to the game. Here we go, match day, Saturday the 5th of August 2028, a moment in the club's history. I can't believe it. All the way from level 10 up towards uh, the Prem and we're in League One. And look at who we are about to sign. We are set to sign our first ever regen kid back to the club, Eric Natambi. So Eric Natambi, the journey that he has been on, came into the club in our very first season and scored 10 goals in seven appearances for the club before leaving to join Lincoln on a free transfer because we couldn't offer contracts back in, that, back in the day. 
then went on loan, and then we've had him on loan for four years before he was released. Now Eric Natambi comes into the club. Welcome back to the club, Eric Natambi. So what we'll do, we'll probably give Tyler Onyedo a start in the center of midfield. An E, the fan reaction of E, don't they know this guy is a legend? Anyway, we're gonna register him as one of the players for the team. There we go, confirm. And Gibbons has been banned furthermore. How many more, two games? Don't appeal, no need. I don't know if I've ever appealed for a ban and, and football manager has gone, you know what, you were right. Well, there you go. Look, Sodi and Scully have got a nice little partnership up there. Munoz and Onyego going to be starting their new partnership in midfield with Botello on the left. Edwards and Flatman again on the centre back. Ryan Charlton gets the start on the inside forward and Tolaj and Ennis up top. Does, does Eric Natambi get a bench spot? Let's have a look. Sure, let's put him in instead of a sub goalkeeper. And we'll give, what is an Eric Natam? What does he want? He wants the number 17? Sure, there we go. Bucks EC Stadium, first game. Here we go, we are welcoming Palace down to the Buck CC Stadium. Look at that pitch, beautiful. Well, here we go. Look at the stands, <laughs> uncovered stand on this side. I wonder what this score is gonna be. Can you actually imagine this stadium being in Stoke, in Owsbury, in Stoke Mandeville. Oh dear, we've given it away. Oof, they hit the bar after the in ninety after ninety seconds of the game. That is not a good sign. Come on, the Bucks! Free kick, Diamata. Saved by Baldy. We are under relenting pressure after five minutes against Palace. There you go, Baldy. We are yet to have a shot at our home stand. There we go. We have had a shot against Palace. Ryan Cholton picking up the first booking of the game. 20 minutes in and we're still surviving. Let's just tell Ryan Cholton not to dive into tackles. That would be nice. Don't get sent off and tell Spani Sodi to do the same. He's off the tackles. We do not need to go down to 10 men against Palace. Here we go, throw into Palace over on the right-hand side. And Tyler Onyedo with a great ball in and Niall Ennis is in. One-on-one -on -one with a goalkeeper. Great save, great save. Tyler Onyedo putting Niall Ennis in and we are nil-nil at half-time against the Giants of Crystal Palace. We, have we been the better team? Sure, we'll tell them that. And let's say that it weren't that bird that they can improve. And the back four too, and here we go. Second half, throw in to Botello on the left-hand side. What's he got? Short throw in to Ryan Charlton. Locked it back to Pedro Munez. Tyler Onyedo into Charlton. Ryan Charlton is the first goal scorer at the brand new stadium and we have taken a 1-0 lead against Crystal Palace and the Eagles. I tell you what, Palace fans will not be happy going 1-0 down to Buck CC. What a finish by Ryan Cholton, the young regen, the kid who people have said he was garbage and we have given him some minutes and he comes up with the goods. Gabriel Baldi with the goal kick here. And he's clipped it up to Tolaj, who nods it off to Onyedo and is into Ennis. Oh, I tell you what, that could have been that could have been a brace for Ennis. Corner ball, Botello whips it in, headed clear by the Palace players. Munoz picks up the the, the knockoff, and it looks like it's going to be a throw in to Buck CC on the left hand side. What an improved performance from the first half. 
the spoiled riches. They've got a 24 and a half million pound striker up front who's being paid, well, they're being paid 10 million more a year than we are. Scully clears the ball and Buxy C are on the break. Tolage crosses it. Ennis is free. And it's 2-0. It's 2-0. Niall Ennis, a kid that has been told that he is not good enough to play at this level, puts Buxy C 2-0 up on the ho on the first opening stage, uh, stage of the, st uh, the stadium. Great finish by Niall Ennis. And that is a devastating counter-attack. 2-0 to Buck CC. 15 minutes to go. And we're going to take off Scully. We'll take him off. We're going to bring on Eric Natambi. As a welcome back to the stadium. Five minutes to go. Onyedo's going to come off to Pozzo. Pozzo's just going to sit in there. And that is an unbelievable result for, for Buck CC. 2-0 against the relegated Crystal Palace from the Championship. They're paying them £10 million more a year in salary. They've got a striker that's worth £24.5 million. And they've just been done by the boys from Buck CC with Tyler Onyango as the man of the match playing in centre of midfield. What a result. Well, there you go. We have gone up to League One. We've made some, I'd say, wise investments in players. And now we find ourselves playing two games in the start of League One and we've won two games. Let's see how we do as we move through the rest of the season Thank you so much for giving the channel a watch. This is One Club Champ. My name is Gary. Give us a follow, uh, like the video, follow us on YouTube. Thank you so much for your time and let's go the Bucks.